chapter 24. Choose a woman who is your complementary opposite. If a man is very masculine by nature, then he will be attracted to a very feminine woman who will complement his energy. The more neutral or balanced he is, the more balanced he will prefer his woman. And if a man is more feminine by nature, his energy will be complemented by the strong direction and purpose, purpose, uh, purposiveness of a more masculine woman. By understanding their own needs, men can learn to accept the whole package of a woman. For instance, a more masculine man can expect that any woman who really turns him on and enlivens him will also be relatively wild and undisciplined, bonkers, chaotic, prone to changing her mind, and lying. Still, from an energetic perspective, this kind of woman will be much more healing and inspiring to him than a more balanced or neutral woman who is steady, reasonable, trustworthy, and able to say what she means in a way he can understand. You have probably met a woman who seemed fantastic, only to, dis only to discover she has some emotional weirdness that you don't really want to deal with. She seemed incredibly sexy, but also a bit bonkers or crazy, saying one thing one moment and another the next. You have probably also met some very reasonable and trustworthy women who don't seem to constantly change their mind, and, in fact, with whom you could have good conversations that don't end up frustrating you. Although you may love these women and enjoy spending time with them, they don't arouse your passion as much as the woman whose words you wouldn't trust to remain true for an afternoon but who move their body in a way that drives you wild. Why can't a woman be more like a man? Many men have wondered. But of course, <clears throat> it is precisely those ways in which a woman is least like a man that most attracted you sexually. If you have a masculine sexual, sexual essence, a woman's feminine shine, the energy that moves her body, her utterly refreshing spontaneity and mystery, not to mention her delightful smile are, are what attract you. And the more feminine a woman is at her core, the less she is likely to evidence strong masculine traits, such as speaking clearly and, in, and unevocu, any, unevocu, unev, unequivocally about thoughts and desires, rather than primarily expressing her feelings of the moment. A woman with a more feminine sexual essence will say she loves you one moment, and then when you have done something you are not even aware of, she will say she hates you. This is the beauty of the feminine. To her, the masculine grid of words and events is less relevant than the fluidity of relationship and feeling. Thank God for such women who make no apologies for their oceanic depth and riptides of emotion. You are always attracted to your sexual reciprocal. So, if you have a more feminine sexual essence, you will be attracted to a more masculine woman. You've probably seen men and women in couples like this. The man is more radiant and lively than the woman. The woman is more committed to her direction in life than the man. The relationship is more important to the man, whereas the woman likes to be left alone much of the time. These are signs of a relationship where the man has a more feminine essence, and the woman's essence is more masculine. Other men, with more neutral sexual essences, prefer women who are, also, who are also more neutral, neither particularly masculine nor feminine. This kind of couple can talk about anything, and they like talking about everything. They share hobbies, friends, even career goals. Though equally loving, this kind of couple is usually less sexually passionate than highly polarized couple. It would be unusual to hear about this kind of neutral or balanced couple yelling at each other, throwing pillows, wrestling each other down to the floor, and passionately making love right there and then. Through lack of understanding, you might have depolarized yourself and your partner into a relationship that seems neutral, but actually isn't. Only about 10% of couples are actually the neutral or balanced type in their true essence. Another 10% of couples are made up of feminine man and masculine woman. But if you were like 80% of couples... You have a masculine sexual essence, and your woman has a feminine one. That is, her feminine way frustrates you, drives you crazy, inspires you, or turns you on, 
more often than she is simply your sexually neutral buddy. The false neutralization or depolarization of relationships is one of the main reasons that couples break up. The rejuvenative charge of sexual loving becomes weak, while all the things that irritate you and your partner remain just as strong as ever. The secret is not to try to change your woman's irritating feminine ways, but to help cultivate the depth and rejuvenative power of her feminine blessings. If you are like most men, you have probably minimized your appreciation of the full spectrum of your woman's feminine energy by numbing yourself to the aspects that most irritate you. For instance, she doesn't drive you crazy anymore because you've learned not to take her too seriously. Perhaps you have learned to seem attentive while not really listening to her endless chat. Or maybe you have learned to give her a daily dose of affection as a way to quell her ongoing need for more intimate time than you really want to spend with her. This is the wrong approach. The feminine is an infinite source of love, inspiration, and power, both physically and spiritually. Feminine women are connected with the elements of nature in ways that more masculine people, such as yourself, usually aren't. Feminine women may seem wild, untrustable, or even irresponsible from a man's perspective, but such women are simply free of the masculine need to live in a world governed by reason and control. Feminine women are free to feel flows of natural livingness that you are unable to feel. They are free to be moved by currents of energy of which most men are unaware. They are free to allow their bodies to be transparent to the flow of their hearts, uncontrolled and undirected by goals and structure. The feminine body is free to be moved by love and by love itself, and this is highly valued by most men. To behold a woman free in her expression, expression of bodily ecstasy is one of the most awesome visions most men have had. Men will even pay to watch a woman's body express ecstasy, even if she is only faking it, like in a porn movie. In our secular culture, most men are only familiar with sexual ecstasy, and so it is this form of free bodily expression that men pay to see in movies, on the stage, and in private rooms around the world. However, in cultures that admit a greater degree of spiritual revelation, women's bodies are viewed with the same masculine awe, but for a different kind of expression, not merely for their capacity to express sexual ecstasy in a way that is foreign and unbelievably attractive, but also for their capacity to express spiritual ecstasy. Temple dancers in India, for, ex for instance, are traditionally feminine women trained from an early age to combine skill and heartfelt devotion in a style of dance which frees their bodies to be moved by divine force, bringing tears to many men's eyes and openness to their hearts. A woman who is at home with her feminine essence is at home with energy, be it sexual or spiritual. For such a woman, there is no disconnection between her sex and spirit. Her sexual surrender, if she is with a wor worthy man, is the same as her devotional or spiritual surrender. She opens from head to toe, receiving divine love force deep throughout her body, so that she is rippled, arched, and undulated by its boundless flow. More masculine or neutral women are less likely to allow such freedom of bodily expression. Yet it is a woman's expression of this kind of ecstasy that invites a masculine man to leave his heady world of thoughts and goals and celebrate the moment in the flesh, through the heart. Whether in a strip joint or a sacred temple, men have been attracted for thousands of years to witness the feminine embodiment of ecstasy. Women are literally worshipped in such occasions. Men shout their praises to the goddess dancing before them in ways they would never do in public. The fullest of such occasions is completely sexual and completely spiritual at the same time. Men leave such an event transformed and inspired by the blessing power of free feminine embodiment. This is one of the unique gifts of the feminine form of woman. This is what you get in a woman with a feminine sexual essence. A woman who is all over the place emotion, emotionally. <clears throat> a woman whom you can depend on to change your mind. A woman who is m much more sensitive than you are to the flow of subtle energies in your relationship. A woman who brings you delight and awe and the ecstasy, both sexual and spiritual, that her body expresses so freely and beautifully. It is all one package. 
you can't have a woman who is always logically consistent, reasonable, and on time, and who also fills your heart and flesh with energy instantly and throughout the day with her bodily expressed love and ecstasy. She can animate reasonable masculine energy when she wants, but if she has a feminine core, much of the time she will want to dance in wrathful anger or enchanting joy beyond the need for reason. So choose a woman who is your complementary opposite, for which most men means a more feminine woman. It is only a feminine woman who can give the gifts that you, as a masculine man, need. Along with these gifts, however, come the relative chaos and emotional weather storms that most men dread. Realize these are aspects of the same energy that turn you on. In fact, you can learn to be turned on by her dance of anger as much as, you, as, much as by her slinky purr. This capacity is one of your gifts to her. You can learn to stand free and strong no matter what emotion she displays. You won't leave, turn away, or dissociate and disgust. You can meet her enormous energy and stand full, loving her through the storm, embracing her complete feminine power, dark and light. You will only be happy in intimacy if you choose a woman who is your sexual reciprocal as a partner. And you will only be able to survive such an intimacy if her dark and light sides are equally embraceable to you. It takes time to develop such skill and strength, but in doing so you learn to provide your, provide your woman, as well as the world, with a man whose gifts are uncompromised by the fear of feminine power and chaos.